Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm heading to a, an event that Mike Chudley, I'll, uh, I'll link it below, Mike Chudley invited me to. Um, he asked if I wanted to come along. It's to do with um, printing uh, photos and imagery and color. Um, I think who's putting on? I can't remember the name of the person that's putting on, but we'll find out as we go. He just said, come along and take some photos if I want to. He's taking some content for them. So I have no idea what to expect. I'm going to go along, do some networking, do some hellos, take some photos and have a good evening. I will say if anyone's interested, I'm going to be at the photography show in Birmingham this year. Um, there is a link in the description and next to that there's a discount code that will give you a discount off. I think it's 20%. So if you want 20% off and you want to come and see me at the photography show, I will be there on the 20th of September. Nowadays nothing really is ice for only one of me and nobody's like me. Phone ringing and I tell him it's ice. I got what you don't bling and she ice free. Free photo. photo. If you are thinking about going to the photography show, let me know in the comments. Um, Mike's, I think he's close, but I'm not sure. I'm actually not entirely sure how far away it actually is from here because this was like I think the closest car park that I could find so I think it's gonna be about a 10 minute walk but that's all right I uh, also think afterwards me and Mike are gonna head out get some food maybe I don't I have no idea I don't know what's happening at this event they might even have food there I mean I hope so because I'm quite hungry okay so according to maps it is a nine minute walk <laughs> just looking at Mike's stories it's just down this road apparently but it also looks quite intimate i.e it looks very small so I'm intrigued to find out I can see Mike already there's also M visuals here as well I'll link them below I can see him and a speaker at the first ever mobile photography conference. He's also one of the most followed non-celebrity uh, photographer with over half a million followers. Um, I want to know a great time about colour and the video that you're about. That's where it colours and when did you realise it's important to the mind? It's okay to ask those questions and maybe to ask a question that just starts with, I have no idea how any of this works if you teach me. Concludes the talk. Mike, look at Mike. This is Dan. And I don't know if you know this guy. It's quite famous. Well, it's good, that's good. <laughs> How did you go? Good. Really easy. Really simple. Lots of smiling faces. View Sonic. These guys, they do screens. Color Pro, which I think might be a, the same sort of company. I'm not 100%. But they've worked together to put on and an event. Paper as well. Yeah, all about printing, yeah. digital, color, making sure your content is just as good as possible, really. They want me to do some, uh, um, I'll put you guys here, they want me to do an interview, so I'm going to put you guys, you guys there. I see, yeah, yeah. I didn't come soon, I see. Cheers mate, nice to see you. Cheers. Nice to see you all. Thanks Have a good one. Thank you very much. Alan, thank you very much. Oh, thank you, nice Sam. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Have a good one. <laughs> Stop in your face. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's like, grab everything and go. He's <laughs> like the prize winner, doesn't he? <laughs> Sam just walks out with his hands full, like, what can I take? Yes, I'm having it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got another one, too. Okay, Mike, that was a good event yeah. and some decent food. Oh, but yeah, I've, got nice. a, I've got a question for you. Fire away. Can we not cross the road at the same time? No, we can do both. <laughs> if you shoot a variety of content, say street as well as studio work, would you post it all on social media? 
Okay, if you don't care about the results of social media and you just want to share your work, then post whatever you want, do whatever you want. If you care about growth, getting attention, followers, you know, playing into the algorithm's favor, then be niche, stick to one thing, be consistent, have a theme, like all of that stuff. But that takes work, so if you just don't care, then post what you want. That's my advice. I actually think it's the other way around. Oh, really? I think if you niche down when you, with, your, with your feed, you only allow yourself to be open to only a specific amount of people. Okay, hear me out. If you don't niche down and make yourself known for one thing, no one will find you because you're too generic. So here my evidence is, mm -hmm. the last year on YouTube, I've only ever spoke about street photography. I've grown more on YouTube in the last year than I have any other year because I did everything before that. Whereas now I've got a little bit of an audience from street photography, I can now do other stuff because I've got people that follow me. So, yeah, but I wouldn't associate myself as just being street photography and I don't, I don't only post street photography stuff, but yet I don't really you've have a still, niche. You've still grown as well, quite well. Very well, in a year. I guess it depends on the person and the content itself then. What do you think, Dan? I, it's a difficult one. I reckon, I, I'm torn. I sort of agree with you both. <laughs> I think it's probably, it depends on your personality type, maybe. I think if you predominantly do something like studio, then make that the main focus of your thing. Only to get found is my point. But like if you consistently do that, yeah, but I yeah, but I think it. you could do maybe 60%. Yeah. Do 60% of the main thing that you do, and then 40% of the other. Okay, I've got a question for both of you. If you didn't have a prime lens, what prime lens would you buy first? 50 mil. 35. I was about to say that, but I reckon 50. What, as in like the nifty 50? Yeah. Yeah, I think the 50 mil is definitely the best budget lens you can buy. If, if there was no budget and money was no object. Oh, that's a different question. If budget wasn't a thing, what would be your first prime lens? 35 or an 85, a good 35 or an 85. Yeah, I'd probably go 35. The Sigma 1.2. Budget's not a budget's not an option here, so we can spend what's a G Master, L L lens, RF lens. I'd spend some money if I was. Yeah, I would probably go. I would probably go for an 85 mil Sigma. Would you? Yeah. Yeah. For a prime. Or the 14. 1.8 Sony G Master. Oh, you get some Instagram bangers with that one. Yeah. I mean, it's as wide as this, but it's 1.8. <laughs> well done, been a pleasure. Have a good one. Good, good to see you good again, see mate. Have a good night. And leading off that last question about lenses, what is the ultimate street photography lens? 35 mil, I think. Now, 50 mil for beginners, it's accessible, it's affordable. It's good. It, you can do literally yeah. anything with it. But 35 mil, full frame I do believe is the closest to our eyeball vision as possible it is it, 35 is, it's got that nice medium isn't it's it it's very natural yeah, yeah you've got that wide but you've also got that nice it's also very good for car photography yeah I my 16 to 35 mil wide lens I, I actually end up using the 35 mil on that all the time yeah because it looks nicer yeah. it looks much nicer however I'm gonna I'm gonna be different because that's me <laughs> um, I reckon 85 mil now the reason I say that is because it's not typically a lens you use for street. It's not really anything, people don't normally think, oh, street photography, 85 mil. It's a very compressed lens. Yeah, but I think it, gets, it just gives, it makes you think and it makes you work. And when you have to think and work, I think you end up composing shots better. You have to put more effort in, Yeah. therefore you're gonna think about your shot more. 100%. Right, Mike, been a pleasure. Have a good night, Amazing, mate. mate. Nice to see you. See you soon. Have a good one, dude. So the event went really good. It was nice to go to an event with Mike. Um, hopefully you might be able to work something out with ViewSonic in the future. Guys, if you're watching this, reach out, let's sort something out. And it's just nice just to chill out. I mean, I've got a couple of photos which we're gonna go and look at now. So let's go jump into the hashtag, have a look at the photos that I did get while I was there. And uh, we'll go from there. So I just wanna say a massive thank you for ViewSonic allowing me to come along and uh, and, and come in. It was a it was a privilege to be there. It was very it was a nice event. It was well presented, um, and there was two very well known photographer creatives that were were talking. 
Now, I did manage to get a couple of photos while I was there. Um, I just sat down and I was like, well, I've got the 85. Let's get some detailed shots of some people while they're while they're watching the event. So, I mean, they turned out pretty good. Um, now, we were talking briefly about the, the best photography lens, street lens to use when you're doing street photography. I'm gonna be doing a video specifically on that um, in the future. So I might do a POV about it, but I might do like a, an also vloggy thing about it as well. But what is your, what's your opinion? What do you think is the best street photography lens? Drop it down in the comments. Let's jump into the hashtag and see what you guys have been shooting over the last couple of days or what you've been posting over the last couple of days. At least optical wonder. If you do want to get featured on this page, use the hashtag optical wonder over on Instagram. And if you're not following me on Instagram, head over and come and follow me and uh, send a message and say hello. Let's go to recents and we'll throw a screen record on. And uh, we're gonna go grab some that catch my eye. Um, let's go with, that's a nice street shot, a nice black and white street shot. I've said this multiple times. I am gonna do a black and white street photography POV soon. Very soon, this week. Oh, I like the colors in that. And the orange like proper stands out like that. And we'll go, ooh. This is a reposting page from John Hat Photography took the photo, I like that. Um, nice reflection here from CWS Visuals. Panning shot from Asen. Oh wow, that's cool. That's a vibe, that is definitely a vibe in Snowdonia. And let's do, that's a really nice portrait shot from one, uh, 1984 portraits. And then a Astro shot, I'm, I am, I'm, I'm why am I sitting It's such an awkward, I don't know, maybe I can sit on this. Okay, scrolling down. Oh, that one's really creative. I like that a lot. The colors as well. Wow. I like that. It's different, but I like that. This one here from Dan's Shutter Moments. I like the leading lines there, Dan. And let's do two more. This one here of a, a train stop or a tram stop in Adelaide. And then we also have, let's do a big scroll, big, big, big scroll and stop. Oh, that's a vibe. That is a proper vibe. I love the edit on that. Guys, as always, it's so good to see your images. I do go through the hashtag, especially if I'm going out, I've said this before, in other videos. If I'm heading out, I go through the hashtag to get some inspiration because you guys are honestly insanely creative and I wanna keep seeing your work. So if you do wanna get featured on this page, use the hashtag Optical Wonder over on Instagram and also head over and say hello. With all that being said, create more, stress less, and of course, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace. We could have gone to Marbella today. Nowadays, nothing really is ice cream. Only one of me and nobody like me. Phone ringing and I tell him it's ice. I got wifey on, bling it, she ice. Freeze, freeze, photo, photo.